the MEGRES pad. Behind me is the neighbor's 105 AC rig. We're drilling some top set prospects, multiple stacks sands that have about 600 million barrels perspective resource and 3.3 TCF of gas. So about 1 billion barrels of oil equivalent. This well is a directional well and it'll TD about 5,000 feet under the Sag River to our east. So here we are now outside in the elements and we're right beside the, the neighbor's drill rig. And you can see the kind of environment we're in. It's about zero degrees Fahrenheit and the wind's blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour. And this is pretty typical of the weather that you experience for winter drilling. If it were January, it could be much colder though. Let's go inside the neighbor's 105 rig and see some of the equipment and meet some of the people who operate the rig as we drill the MacRes 1 well. Here we are on the rig floor in the doghouse. And the doghouse is where is the operational nerve center of the neighbor's 105 rig. This is Jerry Otto, our company man. Now that's the top drive. That's, that's what drives the drill pipe and allows us to, to drill the well. One level below, there is a lot of activity because we're putting in a blowout preventer, a piece of safety equipment uh, to attach to the surface casing that we installed yesterday. I'm standing next to a blowout preventer. This is the piece of equipment that sits on top of our surface casing, which you know we have just cemented in the hole. We will drill inside that surface casing, and this protects the int integrity of the area outside the drill pipe, inside the surface casing, if there is something that tries to escape up, up the annular space. You're able to close the actuators that squeeze off the drill pipe with this equipment. Surrounded and connected to the rig are specialized containers that house the service company equipment, tools, and people who assist the rig crew in the drilling of the well. Let's stop in at a couple of those work areas and see what they do. We use SLB, or Schlumberger, uh, to help us with our, with our mud. That's the drilling mud that goes down the inside of the drill pipe, cleans the cuttings from around the bit, it comes up the annular space, and then you take the cuttings out of it. Kate is our technician from SLB that, that tests our mud, and these are the uh, this, this equipment that we use to test the physical and chemical properties of the mud that we use to take all the solids off of the drill bit and bring them back up to the surface. All right, now let's move over to the mud logger shack where our directional drilling and measure while drilling teams work. Well, the mud logger sits over there. I'm MWD sitting here, directional driller, and then all our sample catching station is over there. <laughs> when I talked to you three years ago, we had a large camp on location. We don't have a camp on location. Everybody's staying in Dead Horse. We have an office though, and we can go in and show you what the office is like out here at the Megrez One location. So we have a very modest office here. And as you can see, we have two offices, and on each end we have a bunk, just in case of an emergency. You saw the nerve center on the rig. This is the nerve center in our office where our people will sit and can watch everything that's going on on the rig. So now we're inside one of our two offices and let's stroll down to the operations center where Tony Bauman sits. Tony, tell everybody what we're doing right now. Uh, sure, um, we just set uh, surface pipe and cemented so now we're in the process of getting the wellhead hooked up and the BOP stack on there and we'll get that pressure test out of the way and then and then after that we'll start drilling the production hole and, and uh, we'll, the plans are to drill about 4,000 feet. We'll get to a core point and, and plan on taking some whole cores 
at that point around 7,000 feet. And, and, and whole cores are really important for us because we get better data out of whole cores than we do obviously out of sidewall cores. So it's, it's actually a piece of the earth you bring out in hopefully 20 to 40 foot sections and we slice it and, and we can get really great data from that. Uh, that's really important. Um, we're, we're, we're not going to complete the well right now, so we won't have an update until sometime in December likely on what we can see from our LWD logs and we'll likely come back in 2025 and complete the well after we've done all our analysis on the whole course and with our fluid sample. Let's leave the rig and head up the road to Dead Horse, the industry town that serves as the base of operation for much of the oil field work on the North Slope. Our crew is housed at a camp facility in Dead Horse and commutes each shift change down the Dalton Highway to the Megrez location. I'll give you a tour of our camp facilities so you get a sense of what daily life is like for a slope worker. Well, as we mentioned on site, we're not, we don't have a camp on site, so we're all staying in Dead Horse. We're staying at the Stallion Sag River Camp, where you can see the sign over my shoulder. So we'll go inside and we'll show you what, uh, what the camp actually looks like. Now we're in the mud room. So we come in here and we take our boots and our heavy clothes off and we leave them here. So we keep the camp as clean as possible. And we'll take a quick tour of the cafeteria area. So here we are, this is the cafeteria, three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, it's set up for the shift workers. People usually work 12 hour shifts, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And now we'll go show you what a room looks like. My room, A109. Self-contained. All the comforts of home. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Megrez well operation. There will be lots more to come as we continue our work on this exciting project.